Let's take a look at SHA-256 in action. We'll demonstrate this using the website Anders.com. The website provides an excellent demonstration to show how hash values work. We put a link to the site below the video if you'd like to follow along. When you get to the site, navigate to the hash section from the top and you should end up with a screen that looks similar to this. To start, you'll notice I have a place to input data and a corresponding hash value. What this site does is generate a unique hash using SHA-256 from whatever data you type in. Try typing something and notice how the hash value changes every time the data changes. If I type in blockchain developer nanodegree program, I get a hash value. This hash is the unique value for this string of text. If I remove some text, like the word developer, the hash becomes something completely different. It's something unique to the new words I wrote. If I type the word developer back into my original text, I'm back to the original hash. The value for this data will always be the exact same string. If anyone in the world inputs this exact same string, they would also get the exact same hash output. But if the data is similar, but not exactly the same, it'll be a completely different hash value. Similar data doesn't necessarily mean that the hash values will be similar. Changing the data slightly can result in a completely different and unrelated hash value. The only purpose of the hash is to make sure it's a unique value. It's not something to reference if you're interested in understanding how data is related. That's the basic purpose of a SHA-256 hash. It's used to produce a digital identity for any given value of data. Remember this basic idea as we go into blocks, blockchains, and more detailed concepts. The hash always serves this one simple purpose. That's true whether we type in data ourselves, we get data from somewhere else, or the data is an entire block including many transactions. Hopefully this demonstration helps make hashing seem a little more approachable. We don't need to know many more details than this for now, but if you're interested in learning more, we've linked some resources down below the video. Feel free to play around with this tool to help get a better idea of how hash values work.